This is Twit. This is Susan in Friday Harbor, Washington. I didn't know that was a place. Uh, it, is, it is. Hello, Hello Susan. Leo. Hello. Long time listener watched you uh, when you were on television. When I was young. Yeah. When we both were young. <laughs> 20 years ago. Yeah. Well, it's great to meet yeah. you, Susan. Thank you. No, thank you, too. Uh, Where's Friday Harbor? I want to move to Washington. I'm thinking of moving up there. Uh, it's cooler, right? You didn't have 100-degree temperatures this yeah. week, did you? No. No. No, we did not. No. We had, we had uh, apparently, uh, there were 90 degree for a couple of days last week, but I was in the high uh, Arctic, um, Canadian Arctic. Uh, on a pass on the Northwest Passage cruise. Oh, I've, talk, I've want always to wanted to do that. Yes, it was absolutely wonderful. It was uh, we did Hurtigarten and started in Iceland. And I've, I've been on the Hurtigarten. That's so cool. <laughs> I was on the Hurtigarten in Norway. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> so you did the Hurtigruten. The I call them the Hurtigruten. I know that's not how you pronounce it, but I just like the way that sounds. Uh, I, so you did the Hurtigruten to the uh, Arctic. Wow. Yeah, to the high Arctic, yes. From uh, Iceland to uh, Cambridge Bay, um, Nunanook. It was it was wonderful. It oh, was absolutely that's wonderful. That's an adventure. I'm very um, jealous. That sounds paid, great. Paid the paid the higher price, um, and it was very much worth it. Nice. And I took along my new Canon EOS with the 100 to 500 brilliant meter lens, and brilliant. was out on the on the deck and took lots of birding and animals and. Um, I had this very heavy laptop that I need to replace because I don't want to carry a heavy laptop, a 15-year-old heavy laptop with Ugh, me to yuck. do photo editing. Yeah. But uh, So I have several things that I'd like to replace now. Um, and the first is my iPad Pro, which is a 2016 model. And um, oh, Before great. we go any further, wait. Yeah. Yes. That's your first. Next month. Okay, that's what I thought. Next month, new iPads. Both the base model, the I don't know what this model will be, iPad 8 or 11 or something. And I think we're thinking new iPad Pro as well. Yeah, it's time. And that is, I have the iPad Pro with the M1 chip. That's a, you wouldn't need yeah. to bring a laptop. For In fact, right. it's a better photo editing device than any laptop because it has a better screen. More photo, re, yeah. you know, the, the accuracy of the screen is superb. And touch is great for photo editing. So I am very yeah. happy to edit all my photos on the iPad. Okay. All right. So uh, October that comes out, supposedly. Next month, yes. Okay. Okay. Almost, I would say almost certainly. Almost certainly. Yes. Okay. I thought I should wait. That's why I'm at. Yep. Um, also, um, uh, I'm, I'm learning this with a friend, and uh, in a laptop, we're using ACDC, and he says, you know, you are such touch screen uh, in your editing on your iPhone. You really need uh, different uh, photo editing. Um, which one should I get? For well, when you get your new iPad, there's a lot of good choices. Yeah. What do you like? I well, like I, I like uh, Pixelmator Photo. Me too. On, Superb. On iPad because it is purpose built to be an excellent okay. photo editing application. It has there. amazing features like uh, you can erase stuff. Uh, you know, smart erase. It's really good. It was five dollars. I think it's probably a little more, but it's not much. I would suggest three programs. Certainly, Pixelmator Pro. Right. I would also get Darkroom. Darkroom has more is more filter focused, but that sometimes you know you've got a great shot. All you want to do is make it a beautiful high contrast black and white shot, which I think with the polar bears in the snow would be great. Uh, that's a good way yep. to do that. And then Affinity Photo is really Photoshop for. The iPad. All together, all three will cost you one tenth of what Photoshop would cost you alone. Beautiful. Uh, and these, are, if you have those three photo editing programs, you've got the creme de la creme. Mm -hmm. They'll all three handle raw from that Canon, uh, so you can shoot raw. So will your iPad. The only thing I would say is get a lot of storage. Okay. So well, they they will cool. offer. I got a two terab. Believe it or not, two terabyte iPad. Uh, that's probably overkill, okay. but but you might want the one terabyte. Just look at how many photos you took, and how much space they took okay. up, and that's how much okay. you'll need because you're not. You can offload it once you get home, but you want enough room yeah. for all the pictures you're going to shoot on any given trip. Yeah. 
Okay, great. Uh, second question is, um, I have this laptop, Asperian uh, Nitro, um, and I'm thinking about, I do both PC and um, uh, iOS, but I'm thinking, and I have a desktop that's a, a PC. Um, this laptop is getting old. Um, 15 years old? Um, 15 years old? Yeah. Wow. 2016. Oh, oh, I guess not. It's six years old. Oh, that's a relief. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was impressed. Sorry, so <laughs> I estimate that, you know how they always talk about dog years equals seven dog years is one human year, right? Yeah. Laptops is about 15. Mm -hmm. So a six-year-old laptop is 90 years old. A 15-year-old laptop, <laughs> I can't even do it's the math. It's so old. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's, it's like several centuries ago. So, yeah, use time for a new, uh -huh. nice new laptop. I would get a Mac uh, since you're getting an iPad, but it's up to you. Okay. The Mac Pro or a Mac? M1 Mac. Uh, I would say the Air, the new Air. You got the M2 Air. Yeah. It's so powerful that like, I, I've, I've used Affinity. I've used Pixelmator Pro. I've used these applications on it, and it does not sweat at all. And the thing that you're going to love, Susan, is that there may be times where you want to use you know, the, the keyboard shortcuts and the, the trackpad to be able to do stuff with editing your photos, or maybe even just the organization part. And because it's so lightweight... I do like that is yeah. where you're really going to be happy to be able to bring that along. You've got your, if you've got an iPad uh, and your MacBook Air kind of right next to each other, you can use that uh, iPad as the device for doing the photo editing. But then the MacBook Air yeah. can serve as the, the sort of area for everything else. So I really think that uh, you wouldn't need to do more than that unless you really felt like you were going to be doing lots of, you know, deep processing with these photos. But I just took some, I, I did some recent uh, crochet projects and I like to use a better camera to take photos of those. So it really shows the stitches and I shoot those in raw. I pulled them up on my MacBook Air, this M2 MacBook Air I have, and it didn't sweat at all with them. Okay, sounds good. Uh, which uh, keyboard should I get with the new uh, iPad Pro that I'm getting? Just, I like, get, just get Apple's. Uh, keyboard that lights up. Oh. It lights yeah. up? Yeah, the yeah. one that comes with... Uh, just get Apple's. I've tried all the other ones, the Bridge and... The, okay. the Logitech, and they're disappointing in a variety of ways. One of which is they add a huge amount of weight. Uh, the okay. Apple yeah, is, like, yeah, Apple's is just okay. fine, and that's what I use. Okay, sure. Uh, and I'm up for a, an Apple Watch. Um, how does it compare to the Garmin Extreme Sport? And I do snorkel. I think the new Ultra is very comparable. It's it's on par with um, the, the like the biggest difference. And Garmin was quick to tweet this is battery life. Mm -hmm. You'll get, th they say, 36 hours, day and a half battery life on the Apple Watch. Garmin says, we have six days. But I find I'm, I'm charging every night, no matter what. So if, if that's part yeah. of your routine, because you charge your phone every night. Um, I do. Yeah, I, I don't think every, battery every, life is I an issue. Yeah. Man, snorkeling, okay. going right. to the Arctic. I kind of want to You know what it has that I really like? The you the, the now because of the because of scuba gloves, it's got much bigger buttons and knobs. You twirl the knob and it goes to red. Yeah. A night mode. I love so you that. could do uh, you know, astronomy or swimming. I think it's going to be a very nice watch. But we we'll have one in a week. We'll let you know. Leo and Micah, your tech guys. Yeah, I mean, I you know, they're because it's not out yet. There's no reviews yet, so we yeah. don't know. And people who have their Garmin Extremes, you you have one now? Uh, no, I have a friend who loves it. Yeah, they are fanatical about it. Uh, yeah. I think Apple's aiming straight at it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But who knows yeah. if it'll be better. Uh, I mean, that's the thing. How many journalists, tech journalists that are getting early access to this are also people who snorkel? Yeah, you don't want to ask some fat access. guy. Uh, <laughs> not you, me. <laughs> but I do snorkel. I love to snorkel. And I love to scuba. So I will try it that way, but it won't be for a, a year or so. I want to see you uh, scuba with it. That'd all right. Be I love scuba. Um, and uh, so it, it's, a, it has a, it's a dive watch. Mm -hmm. uh, a full-on yeah. dive computer with the, yeah. the app, a third-party app. And you can get that, uh, what is it, the Humish, Humish Watch app or whatever. So, what, Okay, what so you, I'll wait and hear what you say about the Ultra. Uh, I wouldn't wait and see what we say. I would wait. I would read, uh, you know, the extreme sports magazines. Okay. Yeah. Because what you so want is a head-to-head -head versus the Ultra versus the Garmin and, and you know, which okay. is better. It is cheaper than the Garmin. 
by a couple hundred bucks. Uh, but that's, okay. you know, you're spending a lot of money for that watch. So I, I think yeah. ultimately Apple's advantage is they're a juggernaut. And they have resources far beyond anything Garmin has. Absolutely. So if Apple wants to beat Garmin, they just flip a switch. They do because they just throw money at it. Uh, and I think they benefit a lot from the way they study these things. Um, uh, you know, my, my, my gut is it's going to be at least as good as the Garmin. And it has two, like the Garmin, it has two GPS receivers. It has, so it can triangulate. It has the emergency feature, which I think is interesting, crash protection, which I, uh, yeah, Garmin does not have. I kayak too. Yeah. I kayak too on the west yeah. side. And when I yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think this is a good watch for a kayaker. I really do. I want to be you when I grow up. I know. <laughs> you, you are an extreme sports fanatic. Pretty lucky, pretty lucky. <laughs> well, that's why you live in Port Friday or wherever. Where is Friday Harbor? Oh, no, Friday Harbor, the San Juan Islands. Oh, I'm here, so uh, jealous. Vancouver Island. Yeah, I know where San Juans yeah. are. Oh, you're really up there. I, so you're an adventurer. I, uh, I hope so, yes. I try. Nice. You know yeah. what? I want your review of the Apple Ultra. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's whose review. You want to read somebody like you's oh, review. I'm also, I'm also interested in the health benefits because I am um, a cardiovascular intensive care nurse retired, and I like the health aspect. Well, I think, again, Apple has the lead by far in that, and they have decided, yeah. they've made that a key part of their business. So I think Apple's always going to... Yeah. Uh, be ahead of anybody in that regard um, for yeah. AFib and uh, you know a lot of yep. various irregular heart irregularities. I think it's a really amazing device. But I think yeah. what you would yeah. want to get if you had it is the Cardia K A R D I A. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Uh, I've heard of it. Yeah, so that's going to be more accurate. If 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 I were an AFib patient, uh, Jeff Jarvis uh, was. He's his cardiologist said get the cardia, and uh, he uses that if any time he you know he's at all concerned, uh, and it'll give you a fair. It's still only a two lead EKG. It's not you know anything like a hospital EKG, but it give, but he could but he sends it directly to the physician, and the physician can say mm -hmm. yeah get in here or take your meds or whatever and uh, so oh, yeah. that's going to be very interesting Upper. yeah k a r d i a dot com. Um, Got it. But I, but I, and and that works with uh, any phone. That doesn't require an Apple Watch. But the Apple Watch, I, you know, oh. it's also going to do temperature. Uh, it's going, it's it's interesting. There, it's very limited because of where it is on your wrist. It can't really do a good AKG or does even. It, a, go ahead. Does it do water temperature because it's fifty four degrees water temperature. I'm it does it. water temperature. Yeah, it'll measure your water temperature. Okay. It's a, the, it has that full feature as part of the dive computer. Oh man, I, I can't wait. Beautiful. To, I, this may make me an extreme sportsman. Yeah, yeah. I may I may go trekking. See, there's the aspirational aspect. <laughs> hey, it's a pleasure meeting you, Susan. Oh, the San Juan Islands. I'm so jealous. How beautiful. Oh, come up sometime. I will. We want to move. We want to move up there. I just so beautiful up there. I don't think we'll go that far north, yeah. but yeah, I think it's beautiful uh, and, I, and it's right. not burning down, which is another benefit. That is a benefit, <laughs> yeah. indeed. Thanks, Susan.